I have nothing, nowhere to exist. Why? Please, someone tell me. Like the ripples on the surface of water, the wish spreads out to reach someone. This is unacceptable. Why me? No. And her wish traveled across the dimensions. There's not enough love! What is this all of a sudden? I said, there's not enough love in this netherworld! Not enough love? Are you crazy? What's really lacking is your intelligence. You're wrong! There's no romance or lust in the netherworld! It's all because there's no love! Miss Desco, you too? Desco, we have to start spreading the word of love to help the situation! Yes, Big Sis! We will deliver love together to the residents of the netherworld! Wait, deliver love? What are you thinking about doing? Well, Imizel, you just watch! Whoa, now get back! Hey! You're not getting away from us! <laughs> you can't escape our love! Hey guys, we have a problem! Something's happening again! Ugh, my head is spinning. I think I was having a nightmare. Tesco's head hurts, just like Big Sis. Are you guys back to normal? Are you still gonna talk about love? Huh? Love? What are you talking about? <gasps> are you confessing your love for Big Sis? Big Sis is Desco's. Well, I don't want her anyway. But I'm glad you two are back to normal. Hey, President Act Fool, what are you doing here? Aww, don't talk to me like that. Sheesh. We have another problem. Problem? Is it some other stupid thing? <laughs> Let's see what you have to say after hearing what I have to say. Get this. My title of president has been revoked by Archangel Flan without my permission. L Lady Flan has become the Netherworld president? Damn those celestial beings. And you invade the Netherworld while it's still impoverished. Aside, she revoked your title without your consent? Where the hell were you when that happened? Huh? Hey, I'm the victim here! Don't give me that look! The Archangel has become the president of the Netherworld. That is certainly a problem that we can't ignore. Yes, we're talking about Lady Flan here. I'm sure she has a good reason for doing that. We have to go see her. Exactly, are you trying to do by becoming the Netherworld president? I have no idea! You have no idea? She's not all there, is she? Who am I to judge? Anyway, I'm pretty concerned too. You don't know what you're doing, then hand over the title of president. I'll take over from here. Whoa! Nice, Imizel! That's cheating, young master! The title of president belongs to me! The president should be elected by the votes of the citizens. He should be a man who can be trusted with the future of the netherworld. You're the one who became the president on a first-come, first-served basis. Anyway, I'm 
Lady Swan, what in the world is going on? If the other Archangels, let alone this Sarah, find out about this... There's nothing to fear! I did it all for love! I have no idea why I became the president, but as long as I'm in charge, I'll do my best! As expected of an archangel, I'm impressed by her devotion. However, love has no place in the netherworld. Only fear energy and sardines are needed in this impoverished netherworld. Doing. Ugh. 
feel like I need to wash my mouth out with dirt. I've got a headache. I'm going home now. Me too. This is just like what happened during Axel's show. Indeed. It's as if they were released from a spell and all went back to normal. It's abnormal phenomenon. It seems stupid enough to ignore, but there must be a greater power at work behind it. Oh, everyone! Have they already forgotten the power of love and peace? Archangel Flan, I acknowledge the fact that love is important to angels and humans. This is the Netherworld. Demons would stop admonishing humans if they ever became bound by love. And that would eventually lead to human corruption once again. Well, you're absolutely right! I was so focused on spreading love that I lost sight of the most important thing of all! That's right! Love is supposed to be given. It should never be forced. You've helped me see the errors of my presidency. There's no need to thank me. I'm only stating the truth. Please don't let this setback get to you, Lady Flan. You are also being confused by some unidentified power. An unidentified power, huh? Yep. That's our biggest problem right now. Is this an omen of another great war? Desco is ready for it. She's not afraid of anything. Hold on a second. Are you telling us to work with you, Archangel? Oh, who cares? You owe her that much, considering what she did for you on the moon. <laughs> From what I remember, she only made everything more complicated. We already had one angel in our party, so adding an Archangel shouldn't be a problem. Archangel Flon, we welcome you as an ally. that I get to be in a party with you, Lady Flan. I'm excited too, Archie. Let's do our best together. Great! Then you're officially a member of Axel's bodyguards from now on. Let's go solve the mystery behind this strange netherworld phenomenon. Stronger. My home. My world. The wish only gets deeper. I want. And the weight of the wish only gets heavier. Hey guys, make sure you all take care of your assigned area. What did you say, lass? Who do you think you're talking to? Hey, what's going on here, everyone? Guess what? Mr. Fen, Fen and Mr. Valsy are trying to get away with not picking up their trash. I had no intention of getting away with anything. I'm not scared to pick up trash. However, Fenric... Naturally. Oh, there's no need for my lord to taint his hands with refuse. We have enough of you Cretans to take care of it. There's no point in volunteering if you make someone else do the work for you. Why in the world should my lord have to do volunteer work? And you, what do you think you're doing, participating in such unsightly conduct? Don't you know? Volunteer work has been mandated by the new president. You have to follow her orders. Mr. Axel, did someone take your title away again? Yep. So, who 
who's the new president? Wait, huh? Why are we picking up trash in the first place? For as far back as Desco can remember, we all started getting an urge to pick up trash. <laughs> Is everybody busy picking up trash? Are you? Are you the one who's creating all the abnormal phenomena? What? Don't be an idiot. Volunteer work is an earnest and completely justifiable activity. Oops, sorry for being impolite. My name is Raspberry. I'm the new president of this netherworld. She's the new president? My manifesto requires everyone to do one good turn daily. than I remember. In fact, I didn't even recognize you. Oh, oh, hey, give me your autograph later. Of course, anything for a pair. Hey, what's going on here? Who is this girl? She's Miss Raspberry. She's a demon from another netherworld. Another netherworld? A demon from another netherworld has become our president? Delinquent demon? You betcha. Back home, I'm known as the number one delinquent. I'm kind of a badass. Huh? How can she be a delinquent if all she does is volunteer work? Doing bad things makes you honorable, and good things makes you a delinquent. Demons have completely reversed standards from Celestia and the human world when it comes to these things. A demon of goodwill? That's the worst kind of enemy for a final boss to face! Why is it that everything we encounter is the worst enemy you can face? Anyway, just let her explain herself first. So, how did you become the president of this netherworld? That's a really tough question. I actually don't know. Again? First it was the Archangel, and now her. If you don't know how you became the president, then why are you doing this? I can boss everyone around as the president, so I'm gonna teach demons about delinquency and stand atop the goodwill pyramid. Trash picking is just the first step of volunteer work. As long as I'm the president, I'm gonna keep giving you more challenging tasks. Green living campaigns, fundraisers, Morning exercises, proper hygiene, education, and even blood drives. Blood drives? Child, are you ordering my lord to donate his blood of all things? Yep. Everyone has to participate. No exceptions. No one wants to feel left out, right? Ew. Having Axel as the president was so much better than this. Oh, I'm already hearing the voices of the citizens wishing for my return to office. You look like the last resort. What is this? Are you guys trying to disobey my orders? Fine, bring it on! I'll beat the volunteer spirit into your heart with my own two fists! Then shout and run off into the sunset! <laughs>
Here I come! again. Goodbye, tears. See ya, life lessons. I don't even care anymore. He can do whatever he wants. You, Raspberry, was it? Your volunteer spirit certainly reached through to me during this battle. However, shouldn't a true volunteer spirit be evoked by one's own free will? Can you really call something that was forced upon us by presidential decree true volunteer work? You're absolutely right! How did I lose focus on the very fundamental basics of volunteering? I, I, I don't deserve to be called a delinquent! That's what honor students would do! But demons are supposed to be honor students! A girl goes through that phase when she wants to rebel against her former self. It's only natural. Yep, girls are complicated. I'm sure you'll understand that when you're older. I know I don't look like it, but I've been alive for so much longer than you two. Miss Raspberry, don't blame yourself too much. Some abnormal phenomenon has confused you into doing all of this. I was a victim myself, so just don't worry about what happened. Well, you should probably be a little worried, as an Archangel. Ah, I see! So that was all because of some abnormal phenomenon. I need to get some payback for what that phenomenon has done to me before I go back home. So, you're saying that you're going to loiter around here, too? Hey, don't worry! You and I have crossed fists as friends! It's getting a little merry around here, don't you think, Fenric? All of these misfits are rather troublesome to be around. Lord Val, who should always be the main focus, is being undermined by these fools with stupidly strong personalities. It's not a big deal, but we don't know anything about the enemy. At least we should have enough force. I concur. All is for my lord. Although this is even affecting a demon from another netherworld, it's possible that God might have something to do with these abnormal phenomena. eventually become waves, which will engulf everything. I'm not wrong. The world is wrong. They are. While denying everything, the waves surge higher and race forward. Sorry for the wait. Here's your Darjeeling tea. It's a blend of spring Darjeeling leaves. Please enjoy the fresh, fruity aroma. Mmm, lovely! How about mushroom juice? It'll give you energy! Hmm, this one is a bit indescribable. 
But I'll take it anyway. It's a high society thing after all. Desco's gourmand parfait is just as expensive as that one, and it's tasty too. Great, thanks. Good job in bringing it to me. <laughs> Yay! My dessert is so much better! See? It's super limited pudding from the Sea of Gehenna! I'm glad someone knows the deal around here. How did you get this? Well, I would go to any lengths to make you happy, nice body master Edna. Mm -hmm. I am nice bodied. My charm attracts anyone of any age or sex. Every one of you will gladly kneel before me and lose control! <laughs> Isn't that right, everyone? Yes! Nice body! Master Edna, I'm done cleaning! We polished every surface we could find! Cool, thanks. Can you rub my shoulders later? Yes! Nice body! I'm getting tired of all these desserts. I want something different now. Isn't there anything else? I've prepared something for you. Here, Master Etna, it's a chilled noodle salad. You bonehead! I don't even consider that to be food. Ah, my eyes! The sauce got in my eyes! <laughs> A noodle went up my nose! What am I? Were we chanting nice bodied or something? Nice bodied? Who were we supposed to be talking about? Duh! Me, of course! Nuh-uh, no way! How can your curveless ironing board body qualify you as nice body? But I'm pretty sure we were praising her for being nice body. Normal phenomenon again. Huh? There's no abnormality going on in here. I just became the president without even knowing it. aiming to become an overlord. Do you know who she is also? I'm amazed at how wide your social network is, Lady Flan. <laughs> I've been through a lot, you know? So is she from another netherworld too? That's right, but it's a different one from mine. other worlds are there? This is such a weird dream. Dream? This is reality, girlfriend. A reality where I became president and everyone praises my nice body. That's your fantasy, not reality. Give me back my title of president. You can have it back anytime you want. I'm not even interested in being the president anyway. But... Not giving in about being nice bodied! Let me show you!
the truth? You're not the president, nor are you nice-bodied. Just another demon. You're an everyday demon with no bumps, arches, contours, or curves. You're as two-dimensional as a cutting board. How dare you! Miss Archangel so angry? Her friend was talked down to. Of course Lady Flan would be offended, considering her personality. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not the only reason. As we can all see, Miss Echo's body is definitely super flat. But you didn't have to be so rude in pointing it out. Excuse me? What did you say? Look who's talking! You're like the galactic ambassador! 
ambassador from from Planet Blackturn! So, so you're so glad they use your chest to measure if a shelf is straight. Ooh, another battle breaks out! This is the saddest battle ever! So stupid! This isn't stupid! I am dead serious here! Miss Edna's right! This is a battle of press in our pride as ladies! Please calm down, you two. The size of your breasts isn't important to us girls. Who is this girl, anyway? Isn't she your flunky flan? What's with her preachy tone and her breast size? I know she didn't mean it with her big breasts and all, but that kind of makes it personal way. What? No, please! The, there is something else that's more important right now. The, the abnormal phenomena. Someone mentioned that earlier. Fine. Okay. That abnormal phenomenon must have transformed my nice body into this one. Yes, Miss Edna! That's why you became the president! And my nice body was replaced by this flat chest! Huh? Well, I think you've always looked like that. Wake up, blonde! Don't let this go to your head! We have to find out what's causing this abnormal phenomenon and get our reality back! As well as my nice body back! Uh, okay! This abnormal phenomena is slowly becoming a world crisis, isn't it? Yes. For my lord's future, we must find out who's trying to control the universe. Trying to control the universe? This recurring phenomenon has got to be more severe than we think. Whoever is trying to control the universe must be pulling the strings from somewhere. I see. It must be true if you say so. Who, other than Judge Nima, would think of such a thing? Do we have a plan? Yes, of course. Though, it's just an idea at this point. As expected of my servant, Fenric. So, what should we do? I've already set the plan in motion. Please, let me handle this, Lord Val. Okay, then let me handle being the president! Swallowing hope, the waves continued to spread. What's wrong is the world. If it's wrong, then I just have to correct it. That's right. I'll erase everything and create a new world. My own world. To wash away everything. To destroy everything. Disappear and then you come back and tell me you're gonna kill me? What's your problem, Edna? Nothing, Prince. It's just. Well, I can't believe you're the cause of this worldwide phenomenon. I can't let you live any longer in order to get my nice body back. What are you talking about? A worldwide phenomenon? I didn't do anything. And you've never body, not even for a moment. What are you on? Wrong! I had a really nice body, but a kid like you would never understand that! Hey, stop creating such a ruckus and ignoring Lord Valvatores. Valvatores? Who the hell is that? I am Valvatores. Is 
the main character and future ruler of the universe, Lord Valvatore. Do you see who the real main character is, Overlord Lahal? Hmm. You guys are pretty good. Fine. I'll let you be my vassal. Idiot! Why would my lord become a vassal of the loser? Don't get so worked up, Fenric. We have more important things to worry about. Yes, my lord. You're correct, but... Listen, overlord from another netherworld. The reason you're here is because some power from another dimension is affecting us. Ah, so you're saying that I was sent here by someone else's will? Correct. So you're not even supposed to exist in our dimension. about it either way. As long as I'm numeral uno around here, I couldn't really care less about anything else. He's so selfish, as expected of an overlord. Oh, Sir Laharo, you need to grow out of the selfish overlord phase you're in. So, who in the world brought me here? And why? We don't know yet, 
However, I assume the Mastermind is trying to take over the entire universe. Ha! Take over the universe? I like their ambition. It seems like they haven't learned how to control their power yet. That's why these strangers keep getting sent to our netherworld, and we kept accepting them as president. Yes, that's correct. Who could be doing this? I mean, we kind of pissed off God. I wouldn't be surprised if something worse happened. You pissed off God? Raspberries! You guys must be top-notch honor students! Could this... this also be Fears of Great? I'm speculating that this phenomenon has been caused by the forced termination of that system. As I said before, that system was too much for us to handle to begin with. The effect of terminating it could easily reach across dimensions. But... Well, that was just a system. You need a tremendous amount of malice in order to activate it. Could that someone's malice be interfering with this world, creating these abnormalities? Then what are we supposed to do? Something really bad is going to happen if we don't stop it soon. The answer is simple. We find that someone and defeat them. Then all of the abnormalities will stop. But how are we going to find that someone? It would be nearly impossible to locate a being who is interfering with us from across dimensions. Right. Unfortunately, it would be impossible for us to go and find them on our own. So, that leaves only one way I can think of. Wait for that someone to appear before us. I see. Is that why you told me to wait, Fenric? My apologies, Lord Val. I could have been more clear, but I didn't think you'd accept just waiting. No need to worry. I've got more to look forward to now. I can't wait to meet this someone. I wonder how powerful they are. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing the title of president is back in my hands. Problem solved, thanks. Hey, are you that desperate to be the president? <laughs> you got that right. A brand new world! The wish has finally come to fruition. My world! I got it! The wish for a single girl. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Are you finally here? The source of this voice must be the power attempting to take control of the universe. Yup. My name is Asagi. I met Asagi, the main character of this world. behind on technology. Didn't she get the memo? Fun. Asagi? Sounds familiar. Hmm. I think 
she's that sad little ghost who's always wandering through different worlds looking for her resting place. Don't call me sad, and I'm not a ghost! She's a tragic heroine on a never-ending journey to become the main character. That's just about right, except for the never-ending part. That just really bothers me. Then the abnormal phenomena were all because of your struggle to become the main character of the universe? Correct! And I'll do it this time for sure. I forgot how many times I've tried, but I am gonna be the main character. I didn't know what kind of monster to expect, but it turned out to be some girl with sneaky motives. She created enough malice to gain the power of Fear the Great using her sneaky motives. She looks different from the others, too. Desko feels bad for this girl. What? What's with all the pity? <laughs> I've never seen such a sorry creature before. What do you say, everyone? Why don't we just give her the position of main character? problem with that. She seems desperate, so I say let her have it. Yeah, I mean, it's just the position of main character, right? Stop! I don't want your... You're making all of my effort and hard work up until now seem like a total waste! The role of main character must be earned through power. It won't mean anything if I were just given the position. Tyrant Valvatores, fight me for the main character's position. The winner is the main character. Got it? Excellent. I accept your challenge. Here it is. The beginning of the long-awaited game. The Kai Wars.
proud and noble demon! So what do you say, Asagi? Do you understand who the main character of this universe is now? Fine, I get it. it. Seems like there's no place for me in this dimension either. I just wanted a place for myself. I was jealous of you guys for having a place that you can call your own. Sorry for all that trouble. In that case, you can join my party. Lord Val? If you're jealous, if you want your own place, then stay with us. But I'm... That's a great idea! Becoming the main character isn't the only path to happiness. But I... Oh, you for you. Well, it was a bit troublesome at times, but I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Accepting even a character like this one? Of course, the size of Lord Val's heart is immeasurable. Well, now that you've become our ally, you're going to have to pay for all the trouble you've caused. Huh? Usually, I turn you into a prinny, but I have no prinny hide that would fit such a unique individual as yourself. So, I'll make you a special deal. How about making you my prinny instructor in training? Mm -hmm. I'll make you pay for all the confusion you brought upon this world by engraving the deepest traumas onto your soul. Aww. Man, looks like that guy took all the glory in the end, Prince. Hmm, I don't mind letting him have it, for now. There should be a major role planned for me in the future. There better be. Tear work. What do you say, guys? Ready for a fundraiser? Wait, what about me? I think we should go ahead and start the great President Axel's Dark Hero Show! Desco wants to take over Earth with Big Sis. No thanks. I want a cuter dream. Your this is just my dream thing is getting a bit old, you know? What? I am so not dead! These hopeless idiots. They've completely ruined Lord Valvatoris' grand finale. <laughs> Don't fret over it. This is just how they are. Foolish, generous heart. As expected of you, Lord Valvatoris. Let's forget the formalities. Tonight, we're going to have a party to celebrate our success once again in saving the universe. This is how the abnormal phenomenon, which may possibly become known as Makairo's attempt, years later, ended. 
as it engraved the accomplishments of Tyrant Valva Torres and the name of an unfortunate woman forever into the history of the Netherworld. <laughs>